Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you some Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battles. Today I am getting Cloud. It's going to be from this po uh, Pokemon um, group on Facebook. And finally got to set, set up the, um, get, finally get a battle request and whatnot. And finally someone accepted. So Cloud will be the one who accepted. Um, it's from... Uh, Let's see, a Pokemon Growth and Sun and Pokemon Go Sun and Moon Worldwide Community Group on Facebook. Definitely go check out the group. Uh, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and use this team here. Um, I tried to fix it up. It's still kind of laggy. I don't know why, but it should be working a little bit better but if it still lags I don't know why uh, trying my best to get things to work as good as I needed to do do things but somehow I'm getting lag so it is what it is uh, I think that's it that's all I need to do let's begin the battle Hopefully this is gonna be one of those good, good decent matches I could have against him. Let's see what he brings in. Okay, so he has a Lowen Marowak, a Nose Pass, not a Nose Pass, a Proto Pass, a what is that? A Chansey, Tentacruel. So he's gonna bring a rapid spinner, Pentacruel, he's gonna bring a rock uh stealth rocks, Tritanatar, and a high jump kicking. Oh Halucha. Oh, this is gonna be a straight up difficult one here. Hmm. Cause I don't have any rapid spinners, so this is gonna be <laughs> one of those things where, oh, unless I lead off with uh, my Ray, that's the only way I'll be able to rap rapid spin anything off. But it depends if he summons and try China to get the stuff rocked off. That's always a decent case. <laughs> Why would I? Why would I think that he was gonna run with that? Oh my gosh, I just clicked something new. That's not what I wanna do. But yeah, again, that's what I was thinking. He was gonna do that. He was gonna click that. So is either my Ray has defog. It doesn't. No, do I have any rapid spinners? No, I don't. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, so all I could do is probably Drain Punch, try to take it out. If it's not wearing any Focus Lash, then I could pretty much just generally, you know, take that thing out with a Focus Blast. Focus Blast. Oh my gosh. And I think I see one of my, uh, ooh, okay, he switched out. He made the prediction to switch out. That's nice. Uh... But what he doesn't realize, I have Shadow Ball, so I still be able to pretty much make a good play in taking out his... Oh, I couldn't? Wow. That's a very bulky uh, Marowak then, because Shadow Ball can especially take it out. I guess it's like especially bulky then, if he could survive that. I think... Uh, generally, that will be like my like go-to Pokemon to taking anything like that out. Maybe. Let's see who else could probably take out. Oh, I do have somebody to take that out. I am gonna go with stones. My... I forgot what you are. <laughs> but, uh... I'm gonna try to go... Mmm... I want to say I want to fling an item but I want to go for a knockoff 
He's gonna go for the willow. Not, not too bad, not too shabby. I don't, I don't mind the willow. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock off your item. Probably take you out at the same time. That's fine by me. That was a, oh, thick, yeah. So it's very bulky than his stats. Then that's that's pretty cool. I th thought it was gonna be like sub. Uh, yeah. I just noticed it too. It's definitely there. Okay. Yep, it's definitely there. So I can't really hide my, uh, what you call it? I don't know what I'm, my, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? My mouse? I can't hide my mouse a little bit. I'm trying to hide it, but it's not I'm trying to hide. So he got his, uh, I'm gonna go for another knockoff and see what items it's running and then try to at least fling one of uh, my toxic orbs over to him and then once I fling one of my toxic orbs I'm, I'm just done set to whatever it is <clears throat> so at least I get one weakness off of his Pokemon or something like that Hopefully that works for me. Oh, what the community? Sh ki what? Did I? Did I? What? What happened? Okay, I'm still online. That's for sure. I'm still online. Hold up. Yeah, I'm still online. I'm just gonna say what happened. Cause I was expecting, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, yep, he got disconnected. That's generally what just happened. He got disconnected. So, I mean, I don't know if you, I mean, you could probably uh, you could probably get the battle set up again, hopefully. My internet was cut from for a while, so his internet was cut for a while. That's great. Um, but I'm trying to send him the battle request again, and uh, sending battle request again. So I'm sending the battle request again so uh, we could probably at least finish where we left off the first time. Uh, hopefully we choose the same Pokemon again. That's all, you know, generally a good thing if we choose the same Pokemon again. But I was shocked that that just happened where his internet just disconnected on him like that. Now, generally, if I'm gonna make this, I don't know if we're gonna make the same prediction like the last time, because he might change up a little thing of there, depending on, I don't know, he might change, he might change the, his Pokemon setup. There's a possible chance he might change his Pokemon setup. Okay, it's the same Pokemon, okay, so. If he gonna lead off what he lead off the last time, I'd rather send in someone who could deal with his Pokemon here. Oh, I'll, I'll choose Drunken Fist again. And again, if he chooses, if he goes into what you call it again. He's probably going to go ahead and fear the, uh, what was it, the, um, because he already knows I have Shadow Ball. 
apprehends that. He knows I have Shadow Ball. Cloud knows I have Shadow Ball. So, if he does go ahead and switches his tri his Tritanitar into uh, something, either he's going to take a hit from my Drain Punch, or he's going to take that Shadow Ball. Because one Drain Punch is definitely going to take him out from a hit. Uh, I kind of want to just go ahead and substitute. Because if he does make a switch, I could pretty much go for a, a free substitute. That's protecting me. He's going to go into his nose, his purple pass. Okay. So, I'm still getting damaged off. But at least I'm in a protect a predict a protection from the sub. And I could probably get a drain punch off and get a boost and a uh Oh it's a one shot. One shot <laughs> bro, I get a free one shot move from Oh my gosh, I get a free one shot. That is hella lit. Full health back up. Get some damage from life orb and some sand. But that was a good prediction. At least I got a free sub and got a drain punch to get a one hit off of his his purple pass. That's that's nice. Okay, so now here's the thing about Tinto Cruel. I do not have a second move. I have a ghost move, but I don't have a second move. And I don't have Baton Pass, so I can't switch this Pokemon out. I mean, I can have anything against this Pokemon, but... It'll just... Tentacruel will have to break my sub. That's the only way it's going to get anywhere through uh, Drunken Fist at this moment in time. Okay, he broke my sub. That's fine. I guess I could get a free Shadow Ball damage off that's fine by me I guess uh, I could get a drain punch off but a drain punch is not gonna really do as much damage I needed to I mean is that plus two plus two or plus nah it's not gonna really do that much at plus one or plus two and I don't know how much gall is gonna do to me because I'm pretty sure I'm weak against gall He's gonna go for the acid spray and it's going to lower my special defense harshly. That's fine. Again, there's really nothing for me to do here. And yeah, and the dream. Yep. So, I mean, he could kill me at this range. He could just kill me at this range. I'm not really too worried about. Yo, this Pokemon. Uh, you know what? I could switch. I could switch. I could do a potential switch into R Sparky. I could switch into Sparky. I'm switching into Sparky. I I I don't give. I I mean I hate the fact that I'm gonna give up Raichu for it, but I'll switch into Sparky just to take a skull. A decent amount of skulls to crit but that's decent enough that's good enough for me uh, he's gonna want to save his tentacruel that's for sure uh, I am gonna go for a zoo Z move uh, giga gigavolt impact so whatever comes in is either gonna get the damage or not he sends out his Tritanator as a rock and dark type, so I, I'm gonna get not as much damage that I need to his uh, Tritanator, but it's gonna be decently enough off of his Tritanator, so it's eh, eh, ish, you know, type thing. So here's the Gigavolt and Havoc, Gigavolt and I give a gigavolt havoc. I keep getting those freaking words. Oh, 
discombobbled and everything. Uh, so, there's really nothing I could do about that. I could switch it into... I want to switch it into someone that could probably take an EQ, but could dish out super effective moves. I'm going to switch it into my Dragon Slayer, just because I think it can handle the situation. This goes for the Crunch. Crunch didn't do too much. And this is might where he needs to switch out. I'm pretty sure he's gonna switch out because I got two separate, two super effective moves. One being fairy and one being a fighting move. He's gonna have to switch out and save his Tritanatar. That's a give and take. He's gonna have to do that. I'm gonna go for the Dowsing Gleam. Dowsing Gleam shit. Generally not take this thing out. I don't think I have anything worth taking this. Do I have anything taking out? No, I do not. I do not have anything taking out. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. I could go into Ray, and Ray has ancient power, so. Gonna go ahead and make the sacrificial switch. It goes for Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz does a pretty good amount of damage. That <laughs> reassuring does a good amount of damage. I mean, uh, all I could do is Ancient Power. I can't use my flinching because that's that's just not gonna happen. It's just it's just never gonna happen with me flinching. So I'm just waiting for his next move. So I, I just go for ancient power because that's all I could do. If I could get the boost, that would be nice. <sighs> yes, yes, I get the boost. Nice, nice. That is generally what I want to do is get the boost and I could probably sweep generally maybe a little bit of his team with this boost pretty sure I probably won't be able to sweep his whole team with this boost because it's just ancient power and ancient power is not going to really affect most of his Pokemon at all you know even though I do outspeed as a little bit effective against most of his Pokemon. But I'm hoping that it puts me in a sweeping mood. Uh, okay, I land the second one. Can I, I get the boost? But. Uh, can I dodge? I don't not. I don't dodge. And he takes me out. It's a crit, so that, I think crit mattered. If crit didn't matter, then that's, I had two boosters of defense, so that's why I'm saying crit either did matter or didn't matter. Uh, I don't know, okay. I am going to send out stones. Ready, set, go. Now, Here's the thing about stones, because he might not know I have earthquake, I'm going for earthquake, so it's just a done deal, I'm going to go for earthquake, he's going to go for the acid spray, hopefully my earthquake does a very good amount of damage to taking out his tentacruel, because I really want this thing out, yes, finally. I have this thing out. I don't have to fear it. I'm, I'm good. I'm good at this moment. Yeah, I'm good at this moment. I don't have to fear any of his nonsense. So I am good. So this is where the game changer plays in my favor right now, bro. 
right now. He sent out his Tritanator. So, knowing the fact that he already seen probably the EQ already, he does. I don't think he knows I have Drain Punch. If he does know I have Drain Punch, that kind of generally sucks because I do get Guts, and Guts is definitely taking it out. And I get the health back from the Drain Punch, killing off his Tritanitar, and I get Sand Damage and plus the Poison Damage. So that's that's fine by me. I'm Guts ability, and I think I got him on the sweep with my Stones. I think Stones have in his favor to taking him out. Now. Here's another situation that I am currently in. I could generally probably knock him off. But I don't think I'm faster him to knock off his item. He got Source Dance. So I'm definitely not faster than him. He did get a boost of two. And I think I helped him because that knocks off his berry but I don't know I don't think it gives him the boost because his boost has to be activated so I'm thinking it is one of those uh what you call it unburden ability uh haluchas so I did knock off the item so he doesn't get the boost but he does have a secondary move that will still take me out that if it doesn't have an item so that generally sucks at this moment so i have to find something that's a little bit decently faster than it uh snap who is faster than that though that's the thing i don't think my drunken fist is faster to taking this thing out and he might sweep There's a chance he might sweep. I'm gonna go for a fire punch, but there's a chance he might sweep. If anything, he <laughs> there's a chance he might sweep. I can't I can't argue the fact he might sweep. Man, this is the most longest battle I, I kind of had. Oh, it's not the longest. It's not the longest. Okay, he he's definitely gonna sweep because he can't. See, again, it's the speed. It's the speed. He outspeeds. So he's plus two and he outspeeds. There's really nothing I could do at this moment. I could go for a Volt Switch, but I, like I said, I'm pretty much not gonna outspeed his, uh, his Halucha. Because there's just no way. And his Halucha is not missing at all. <laughs> it's just generally not. He's just gonna outspeed and take out my Pokemon. Sen does stop. Uh, let's see, I, again, I'm gonna go ahead and summon out my hashtag hood swag, and generally, I want to go ahead zen headbutt, but again, it's gonna outspeed, and it is gonna take it out, he literally swept my whole team, I was not really prepare for that with that plus two attack he, he had that plus two attack and he outspeeds I'm gonna have let me just hold up I need to check something uh do 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 I need to check something real quick uh do 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 Oh no, don't pass it. Please don't pass it. Uh, uh trying to figure out Halucha right now because trying to figure out the uh speed here on the Halucha. Ok, 
Okay, Halucha has like 118, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure none of my Pokemon's gonna outspeed it. That's for sure. Let me look at Raichu's speed. Yeah, my Raichu was not gonna outspeed that. It was just one of those things where I know I wasn't gonna outspeed. What? Wait, hold up, cause that's the same thing for uh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What's the speed? 180. Okay. Yeah. 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 I wasn't gonna outspeed. It was, it was a short day giving. If I would have kept my uh my Ray alive, I would have been outspeed. I would be able to outspeed it. Um. GG, call that a GG, but yeah, I mean, if I was able to keep Ray in, I would at least be able to outspeed because of the Choice Scarf, and then be able to shut down his Hitmon, I mean, not his Hitmon, but his, um, Pelucha, because that was 118 speed, that was pretty difficult, so, again, GG Cloud, uh, again, check him out. Check out this music as well. I'm gonna have a link to that down in the description down below. Uh, definitely go on Facebook, look up again the group of Pokemon Go Sun and Moon Worldwide Community. Definitely check out that group. Uh, and if you haven't seen one of our uh, battle, my battle requests up on that group. And you will know who Cloud is. You can hit him up as well. And battle him sometimes. So, comment, share, subscribe, like button, picture, scroll, shades on, and say awesome, guys. Bye.